So we start by going to this website. I'm going to copy this and uh, paste this link. Since I already have two apps, so those are listed here. In case you are doing this for the first time, you'll be creating a new app that takes you to this screen where you can provide some details. You can give your app a name, provide some description, provide website name, and then say yes, and then say create application. So once that process is completed, then you would see so if you go to settings whatever you have provided you can see there the main screen from which you need some information is keys and access tokens so on this screen you will have information needed for the next steps once we have registered our application program interface or api using twitter account then we need to provide this information from that screen so I have indicated XXX, but what you need to do is you need to copy the API key, the secret, the token, and token secret here. When you are copying and pasting this access token, remember that at the beginning there will be some numbers which are basically owner ID number, so that also is included. So that is also part of access token. Once you do this for all four, then we go to the next line. So we need to load library. And the library we need is where R is capital. So if you have not installed this, you need to go to packages and say install. And once you type Twitter, so you can select that and install. Since I have already installed, I'm going to cancel this and simply run this line. So once you run this line, there should not be any error. And then we run setup underscore twitter o a u t h and then we need to enter so i have run previous four lines with my information and using control l i have removed them so you may not see them in console i'm going to run library twitter and then the setup so it will ask me a question i'm going to say two here in the console area and hit enter and I get the prompt we'll store these tweets in tweets and the command we are going to use is suppose we are interested in dollar sign AAPL so AAPL is the ticker symbol for Apple Generally, we use dollar sign to indicate that these tweets uh, refer to financial markets and people are talking about company Apple. And I'm going to take a sample of size 10. And the language uh, that we will use to pull tweets, let's say, is English, EN. So once I run this, so it pulls the tweets and it stores those 10 tweets in uh, tweets. So if you want to see what those tweets are, you can type tweets and run. And you can see that 10 recent tweets are indicated here. We can also convert uh, this information or data in a data frame. So let's say tweets, DF to indicate data frame format. So for that, we'll use, so we are converting tweets to data frame format. And then I'm going to write this file on my desktop on the Mac. So this is a tilde sign that we use. If you are using Mac uh, and you want to save your file on the desktop, you can use this line. Uh, if you are using Windows, then obviously you have to indicate exact location where you want to save this file. So I'm going to save this on the desktop. So if you want to look at that CSV file, let me import this. So this is on my desktop and it's called apple.csv so I just open this and you can see that those uh, tweets are 
here since we have this title I'm going to keep yes and then say import so these 10 observations get imported there are 16 variables so there are various columns so one of the columns is text which includes that particular tweet so this is the first tweet second tweet and so on some numerical columns like uh, retweet count so for example third tweet was uh, retweeted three times and so on from twitter we can also get data on trends and let's say we want to store trend related information in trend so we can use available trend locations so once you run this and then if you look at let's say head trend just to see what we just now got so you have uh, one two three columns so you have the name you have the country of this location like uh, Quebec Montreal and so on and then you have W O E I D which is where on earth ID basically you get an ID that you can use to get trains for specific locations so if you want to look at the entire list so I'm going to type trend and then say run so you can see there are 467 locations throughout the world and for each one we have an ID that can be used for finding trend at that particular location if you want to find worldwide trend that WOEID is one so let's call this as trend locations and we can use this for getting trends so let me get trend for the entire world so for example right now hashtag Grammys is leading worldwide trends and you have number two number three and so on so we have the name so in Boston also Grammy is leading followed by President's Day and so on So there is something called hashtag stop anti India campaign that is uh, right now leading followed by hashtag saffron emergency and so on so, this so suppose I want to get some user timeline information so let's uh, get uh, two recent tweets and they are listed here so note that uh, there are some restrictions on how many tweets we can pull and also in terms of time so it's not that from my timeline you are allowed to pull tweets for last six months or one year so there is some limitation on how much recent tweets you can really pull and there's also restriction on the number 